Over the past few weeks, we've developed a sort of routine on Saturdays where we go and pick blueberries at a local blueberry farm. And we went last week and we got 80 pounds of blueberries and that was the all-time record. So we broke the record and uh, after we found that out, we were like, we've got to beat our own record. Today, we're going to try to get 100 pounds of blueberries. We'll have to see how that goes. JT, huh? how many blueberries can you pick? Oh, good for you. Look how many blueberries I got. They're so blue, see ya. 35 pounds today? Yeah, about 35, one more. Priscilla, what are you doing? I am taking the bad blueberries out. Good job, baby. Yeah, she's picking out the bad blueberries and the branches. We're about to leave right now and we're going to NES Pensacola. My parents are going to be attending an event at the Aviation Museum and the rest of us kids are just going to meander around the area. <laughs> To the museum our parents went to go attend the ceremony and then us kids left and walked down to the opening where we knew the beach was and then we were there for a while it was it was a little challenging because you have so many little kids and you're trying not to get them in the water and it's very tempting to get in the water but we knew we couldn't that time so we were just having fun uh, without getting in the water and it was like two in the afternoon so it was also pretty hot but it was fun it was fun in the jungle of Florida. Oh, and there it is. Oh. Well, I remember all the times, of course you do. Then we went back to the museum. Since it was about two in the afternoon and we had to carry a lot of our little siblings and we were also just like on the beach for a little while, we were sweating. We were just soaked in sweat. There was sweat dripping down us and we looked like a mess. So we got back in the museum and some people were just like giving us some interesting looks, but it was worth it. It was worth it. And we also went on the simulators for the first time and that was a lot of fun. It is only like four minutes long and it's $20 for 40 minutes, for four minutes. So I definitely recommend going, not just upside down, but going to like a barrel roll as many times as possible and going on like the most extreme angles you can. Enjoy the experience because it's not long and you're not actually moving forward. So you don't have that sensation. So just make the most of it because it doesn't last very long. I definitely go upside down a lot more. Yeah. 
can't spend the whole thing just rolling. Is that what Polia did? Is that why she kept like... Pretty much. <laughs> I told her to make sure that to go upside down a lot because it's only four minutes and it goes by so quickly. You normally get motion sick, don't you? So yes. how was that? It was nice. Instead of getting motion sick, I could like feel the blood. It felt like I was like the blood was like going up and down. So, would you give it a 10 out of 10 to do again? Yes. We're about to head out to run a 5K in downtown Pensacola with some of our friends. And it's gonna be pretty fun. <laughs> I'm trying to PR. I think I see we're trying to PR. So we'll see how it goes. With the 5K, we didn't have a ton of time to prepare with that one, but it was a very fun like, thing to do anyway. <laughs> we found out on the 17th that we'd be doing it, and it was on the 2nd. It was still a lot of fun. Um, I think all of us whites that did it PR'd our 5K time, which is good. So Hi Sway, Abram, and I did it, and then, then Shiloh did the kids' fun run, which was a mile afterwards. Mm -hmm. 